Shopify has recently announced the newer customer events section and this is the new method by which we are going to create the data layer event. All you have to do is go to the settings of your Shopify backend by clicking on the settings button on the bottom left corner then scroll down to the customer event section. This is where we are going to create a new customer pixel. Click on the add custom pixel and since this one is for meta add to cart I'm going to rename it as meta add to cart data layer and click on add pixel. These settings are really important so make sure that the permissions is set to not required and data sale is set to does not qualify as data sale. On this code section, we are going to paste a code snippet that you can find from the blog post below. Once you go to the blog post, you can scroll down to the code section and copy the code right here. Let's go back to our Shopify store and paste the code right here. This will trigger a data layer add to cart event that we can use to trigger the add to cart event for Meta. If you will scroll all the way to the top, you will see that we have to add the Google Tag Manager container ID. So let's go to our GTM account and click on the ID right here and copy this ID. We can go back to our Shopify store and paste the ID right here. Great, let's click on save changes and scroll all the way up and click on connect. Once this pixel is connected with our website backend, we should be able to see add to cart event firing. So let's go to view online store and right click on the page and hit inspect. This is where we will be able to see the event inside the data layer on the console tab. So let's go to any of our product pages and let's try to trigger the add to cart event. Let's scroll down and click on add to cart button. As soon as I click on this add to cart button, we see that a data layer event for add to cart event has fired. This also has an e-commerce items array which contains the information about the item such as item ID, item name and all the good stuff that is required. Perfect, now we can use this data layer array to trigger the event inside Google Tag Manager. But first we need a few things before we can create the tags actually. So let's go to the template to start adding the things that we need for this video. The first thing we need is a tag template. So let's just search the tag template which we are going to use for sending the events for Facebook page view event and the add to cart event. The tag we are going to use is officially created by Simon Ahoha. However, it has been now purchased by Facebook archive team. The name of the custom HTML tag is Facebook pixel by Facebook archive team. Let's search for the tag here and select the tag which says Facebook pixel by Facebook archive and click on add to workspace and then click on add. This is the tag that we will be using to sending the event back to the Facebook pixel. The next thing we need is the e-commerce parameter generator. I have created a custom parameter that you can also find in the description of this video. So let's click on import and then you can select the e-commerce parameter generator TPL file. Once the file has been selected, you can click on save changes and you can cross this page out. Now we can go to the variable section to create all the variables that we need for this video. The first variable we need is the Facebook pixel ID. To get the Facebook pixel ID, we can go back to the events manager and copy the Facebook pixel ID right here. Let's go back to the Google Tag Manager container and create a new user defined variable, which is a constant. Since the Facebook pixel ID is not going to change its value, let's rename it as meta pixel ID and hit save changes. Now we need to create another variable, which is a data layer variable, which will capture that e-commerce items array. So let's capture this e-commerce.items array and rename it as dlv e-commerce.items. The next thing we need is the e-commerce parameter generator for Meta. We can use the parameter that we have just imported. The only thing it needs is the array of object. Let's select the e-commerce items array and keep everything else the same. Let's rename this one as epg for Meta and hit save changes. Great, now we can move to the next step that is creating the triggers for the add to cart event. So once we are on the trigger section, we can create a new trigger which will create that custom event. So let's click on new and then go to custom events and then click on add underscore to underscore cart. And let's rename this as custom event add to cart and hit save changes. Great, now we are in the position that where we can create the Facebook pixel page view event as well as the add to cart event. So let's create the page view event first. Since the page view event is going to fire on all the pages of the website, we don't need to create any custom trigger for this one. And for the tags, let's select the custom imported tag that we have imported and let's import the Facebook pixel ID first. And this is the only thing we need for this tag. So let's rename it as meta configuration tag and hit save changes. The next tag we need is for the add to cart event. To create the add to cart events, let's click on the new button again and inside the trigger, let's select add to cart and for the tag configuration, let's select the Facebook pixel again and for the Facebook pixel ID, we are going to use the existing ID that we have created. Let's change the event name to add to cart 
and scroll down to the object properties and load the variable that we just created which is e-commerce parameter generator for meta and hit save changes. Let's call this one meta add to cart and hit save. Unfortunately, we won't be able to test this using the preview window so we have to submit the changes. Let's rename this version as tracking academy meta add to cart and hit continue. Great, now let's just verify if everything is working alright. Let's go to our Shopify backend so that we can go to the Shopify store. And let's scroll down to any of the product pages. Let's try testing on this product. Once we are on this page, you can see that the Facebook... Once you're on this page, you can see that the Google Tag Manager web container is firing on the website and it also has the data layer object. And then you can also see that the Facebook event is also firing for the page view event. Now let's just try to trigger this add to cart event. As soon as I click on the add to cart, you can see that the Facebook pixel has also received this add to cart event, which also has the item array, name of the product and the contents array. We can also verify the same information by going to the events manager and the test event section. On the test event section, if you will scroll down, you will see an option for browser events. Let's add the website URL right here and click on open website. Great. Now we can go back to the page and trigger an add to cart event. Once the add to cart event has been triggered, you can see that the add to cart event has been received on this page and this is the event that is working fine. Perfect. Now this is how we create an add to cart event using Facebook Pixel and Google Tag Manager on the Shopify store. If you want to see how to trigger remove from cart event, click on this video right here.